RCTFP. History. Beast hunters on the run as she and Jack rode. Jack began to ask her rather panically questions regarding the current state of his mother. RC told Jack to calm down, citing that the two would get back to Jasper, find a means of reaching his mother and meet with the rest of the group. As RC spotted a helicopter, she ordered Jack to stay put, under the condition that it may have been a Decepticon. As she ducked for cover and examined the plane, she realized it was a civilian before discovering Jack to be in peril after hearing and seeing several shots being fired where she had previously told him to stay. RC raced back and managed to get to Jack before the vehicons did. As Jack concluded the two had not taken the best cover, she revealed to him the details of her assault. Using Jack as the catalyst, he poured several pounds of oil on the ground, with RC providing him cover as she shot at the vehicons and thus, enabled the gas to go off and explode. During the explosion, she protected Jack. RC and Jack continued their drive, with RC asking Jack if he wanted to stop for food before pulling over anyway to stretch her legs. RC comforted Jack after he began to question if he and RC were the only ones left. RC told him that she did not believe that and insisted that he did not either. After Jack asked if there were any other Autobots, RC related to him that the war for Cybertron took a heavy toll and caused many casualties before assuring him that there were others who escaped in the Ark. After Jack asked what happened to them, RC told him that they scattered to the winds. She and Jack continued to drive and made their way in front of a ship, with RC preparing to battle its inhabitants before stopping after realizing who was inside and telling Jack to greet Ultra Magnus. After she and Jack began to talk to their new strict ally, RC explained to Jack that Ultra Magnus was by the book and insisted that he just go along with what he told the two to do. RC asked Ultra Magnus how he managed to locate the two and after he revealed he only detected five Autobot life signals, RC stated to Jack that the other two may be below ground and not dead after the boy began to worry. She accompanied Magnus aboard his ship and met up with Wheeljack, Bulkhead, Miko Nakadai, Ratchet, Bumblebee and Raph Escavel while in attendance with Magnus. After reuniting with Bumblebee, she complimented the Autobot on his new color scheme and told her that if she had reversed hers, she would be pink. RCTFP, History, Beast Hunters, Assault on Darkmount, Optimus's Return, RC and the rest of the Autobots attacked Darkmount, RC going with Bumblebee. She and the other Autobots were successful at first, but ultimately fell when she and Bumblebee were surrounded by Viacons and the others were captured as well. Though she had been scheduled to be executed, Optimus Prime arrived and with his presence, both the Decepticons and Viacons stood and watched his debut. However, RC and the other Autobots stopped their own gazing to attack and defeat the Viacons. After successfully defeating the Viacons, she, Bumblebee, Wheeljack and Bulkhead participated in fighting Shockwave. However, the Autobots were forced to retreat after Darkmount started to explode. Arriving at the military base, she and the other Autobots were thanked for their involvement in defeating the Decepticons and destroying their base. Later, she was present at the new base when Ultra Magnus and Wheeljack returned from savaging through their former base and stared at Ultra Magnus awkwardly after he and Wheeljack got into an argument. Soon enough, Smokescreen arrived in a new blue and yellow paint job. RC instantly recognized him, much to his disappointment. When Smokescreen became irritated by the fact that he was nearly a prime and still being treated like a rookie, RC related that Smokescreen was the only member of the group to go back for Optimus while the others left him behind. She even stated that if wasn't for Smokescreen, Optimus wouldn't be with them. Later, Optimus returned with a Predacon remain and sure enough, RC and the other Autobots were surprised to see it on Earth. RC was not chosen to go to Texas or Scotland and remained at base with Ratchet and the kids. RCTFP, History, Beast Hunters, helping Wheeljack Wheeljack later returned alone, through a ground bridge angry and ready to drive off. When a third mining operation was discovered, RC ordered Wheeljack to go with her, despite his desire to rest. She and Wheeljack easily dispatched every Viacon sent to collect the bone. She talked with Wheeljack on the mission about his experience in Scotland and she told him he couldn't live in the past and try to be alone remembering what happened after she lost Tailgate and Cliffjumper. The two hauled away the only Predacon bone, the Autobots acquired. They later saved Fowler and June from knockout and killed four Insecticons in the process. RC led her team to secure what they thought was an Energon mine. 
This investigation turned out to be a setup when Wheeljack and Ultra Magnus discovered Shockwave's unguarded lab. Despite Shockwave leaving the Predacon clones alone, Wheeljack asked Ultra Magnus permission to use his grenade. In the end, Optimus saved them both from being killed by Predaking, the Predacon that hunted the Autobots earlier. RCTFP, History, Beast Hunters, Ratchet's Capture RCTFP, History, Beast Hunters, Ratchet's Capture When the new Omega Lock was being built RC was part of the teams that failed to both objectives. In Antarctica she and Bumblebee killed the Viacons before Predaking came and swatted them away taking the particle collider Synchrotron. RC later examined the piece that Smokescreen shot off Laserbeak when the latter rebooted Soundwave and captured Ratchet. When Ratchet sent coordinates from the Nemesis, the team geared up and prepared to mobilize. RCTFP, History, Beast Hunters, Final Battle, RC led her team to the Omega Locks control station only for Smokescreen to abandon them, claiming he had to get something. In the last hallway, she and Bumblebee were confronted by Starscream and his armada. Smokescreen later returned with the Star Saber and phased through Starscream. When Smokescreen was shot by Shockwave, the sword fell. Bumblebee got it and jumped down to reach Optimus, only to be killed and fall into the Cybermatter. He was reborn by the Cybermatter and killed Megatron with the Star Saber. After the Autobots claimed the ship and restored Cybertron, she shared a goodbye with Jack and told him to keep in touch. RCTFP, History, Beast Hunters, Predacons rising in the aftermath of Cybertron's rebirth, RC patrolled in an attempt to find Starscream and Shockwave. With the discovery that there were two new Predacons on the loose, she and the other Autobots attempted to persuade Predaking to help them, but were unsuccessful. After encountering Unicron, in possession of Megatron's rebuilt form, the Autobots realized that the Dark God intended to destroy their world. After foiling an attempt by Starscream to retake the warship, the Autobots attempted to defend the Well of All Sparks from Unicron's onslaught. It was only when Optimus returned that Unicron was defeated and RC was later present when Optimus sacrificed himself to restore the Allspark to Cybertron. She tried reasoning to turn to Vector Sigma to restore Optimus but it would be of any help. RC watched as Optimus flies into the well and the sparks that came out into the sky. 